How to get your children to listen to you first time? Parents face a lot of challenges in raising their children. One such challenge is how to get your children to listen to you first time instead of the fifth time or the twelfth time or when we shout. I have found the following five tips help you resolve this problem. My name is Nalin Mojaria. I am a psychologist working as a parenting coach. Tip number one. Develop your ability to think like a child. Children think like children. Let us look at an example. Let's say your child is playing with the toys in the lounge and enjoying themselves. You need to get them on the table to have their breakfast. So you call them from your kitchen to come to the table. Why should your kids listen to you? From your perspective, you've got 12 reasons why they should. Because you are a parent, you've got all this life experience and you know all the reasons why they should listen. But in your child's mind, they are thinking, playing with my toys is fun. I will eat later. So to your child, coming to the table can wait. Can you think of why they should stop enjoying their toys and come to the table from their perspective. If you can't come up with a good reason, they probably can't either. And they don't think like you do. So when you are talking to your children, think about how they are thinking. I recognize that a child can be at a different development stage and depending on their age, they may or may not listen to you. But for the most part, kids are very efficient in their own way of thinking. So when they hear something that's going to interfere with the current enjoyable activity, they are going to put it in a priority list where they decide, hmm, should I listen to this or not? Is this important or not? Really? Why? Should I stop playing versus keep on playing? Do you see how the child is thinking? So if they are doing something fun already and you've just asked them to do something that's not so much fun, they find it difficult to break away from their activity. They think, this is more fun, I will go later. So when you think like a child, it helps us to see what is going on in the child's world. So you need to change your approach to adapt this to help them listen to you. Give them a compelling reason to listen to you and respond first time. Because in their mind they are thinking, should I listen and stop or should I wait until mom is really serious? And how can I tell if she's really serious? Oh yeah, she shouts. That's why they trained us to shout. So from the child's perspective, why should I do this the first time? Let's give them a really good reason to do that. On our course, we show you how to use strategies that help your child respond and mature at the same time. Now let's go to tip number two. Learn to regulate yourself, which means learn to manage your feelings and emotions. If you are freaking out, if you are shouting and screaming, then you are out of control. This puts your children in a stress mode where they close down and find it difficult to listen to you. The principle that getting our kids to listen first time implies that we as parents are coming at this from a place of love and peace, which means calm mind, calm face, calm voice, calm body, or put it differently, calm voice, face and body. That shows you are responding with ability to be flexible and not out of control. This mode is really important for our children as it keeps them feeling safe with you and it also allows you to stay in a position of power as a parent because you are still in control of the situation and not out of control. If you are out of control, the child finds it difficult to listen to you 
as they themselves go into stress mode where they start shutting down. So manage your reaction and feeling because it helps your child remain open to you and use your communication to support the child. Let me take a moment and ask you to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so we will be part of your team via YouTube and Facebook community. Tip number three is tying consequences to communication. This is exciting and powerful because when a child experiences a consequence as a result of not responding to your communication, the consequence acts as a process to help the child learn to raise your request to higher cooperation level in their list of priorities. However, for the consequences to become opportunities to learn and take responsibility, your consequences have to meet three criteria. It has to be reasonable, fair and implementable. For example, I shop with a list. You can help me put items I need in the basket or we are going to stop shopping and go home. Reasonable, meaning it is proportionate and makes sense. If you are shopping with your child and they put an item in the shopping cart that you are not shopping for, you can't say to the child, I will leave you here if you put one more item in the shopping basket. Instead, you can distract the child and use their curiosity and energy to help them load your shopping basket by giving them a task that they can do and want to do. For example, say, Simon, can you please locate cornflakes and help me by putting it in the shopping basket? Fair, age-appropriate instruction that you can expect a child of that age to be able to do. Implementable. Something that you can easily do. This helps the child grow because they connect your words with consequence. Our kids are pretty bright and they pick up on our message quickly and start working with us. Especially when they know that when words are delivered, consequences show up. However, when you tie consequences to your words, make sure that your tone is always calm and pleasant. Remember tip number two, regulate your emotions. The next tip, tip number four is, amplify your message through your relationship. Let me elaborate. When children are growing, they are curious about everything. They are touching and exploring everything in their environment. Even as teens, they are exploring ideas, relationships and friendships. When you allow children of all ages to explore their world and keep a communication channel open with them, so they naturally seek you out if they get anxious or worried or experiencing difficulties when they try to explore something new and you are able to respond with support, they feel comforted and feel confident about themselves. This relationship works to amplify your communication. So when you have this quality of relationship with your child, you find that they listen to you when you communicate. Let's go to tip number five. This is critical to child's well-being and it communicates love and affection all the time. This is the balm that works on your relationship with your child. Kids need to know that they have someone in their life who is more powerful than they are, who loves them and has their back covered. There are reasons why that's important for them to know who loves them. Think about how you would feel if you know that there is someone in your life who is more powerful than you are and loves you. Oh, wow, that is a great proposition to be in because it gives you space to freely explore the world around you and get the most from it. Get great fun, unleash your creative spirit, take risks and learn to achieve without fear. We want to provide that for our children. So 
As we interact with our children, our job is to love them no matter what and even if. That solidifies a position for them where, when we speak, they listen. Can we get our kids to respond to that first time? Well, sure, we can. If we have got that kind of relationship and if we are using some of the other principles we've talked about on this video. You have got the gist of parenting. Parenting is one of those challenging things and I'm glad that you are here as part of our parenting community. We've got some other resources for you. Check out the description and come and check out our Empowering Parenting course. I think you will like it. If you found this video useful, please share it with other people who you feel would benefit from. We've got many other resources that are available for you on this channel and that you can implement immediately. Click on the next video.